They are the seconds closely dissected by prosecutors and the public. Put the gun down. This role playing exercise aims to help community members better understand the difficult decisions me? police no, officers can face on a call. It's a topic that is certainly top of mind as critics call into question the use of deadly force. Tonight, WCCO's Liz Collins shares the training's takeaways and the Minnesota business tracking the science behind this. Hopefully it'll give you a little bit of a realism of, of what we go through. For three hours each week, they sit as students, members of Egan PD's latest Citizens Academy. The information is there. Seeing for themselves what most of us don't. There's more to the, the story than just a five second video clip. Tonight it's a timely lesson planned long before any high profile police shootings. We train to shoot until the threat is stopped. A traffic stop scenario where the word routine is never used. Any car we stop going down the road, we, we don't know who that person is most days. We don't know if they just came and committed a crime. We don't know if they're just going to pick up their kids from soccer practice. The reason I pulled you over is because you just went through that stop sign back there. No, I didn't. I stopped. I'm just trying to go to work. All right. Sir, get back in the car. Why are you guys bugging me? Citizens learn the uncertainty officers face. The gun down. Leave me alone. And how soon they can be forced from offense to defense. Defense. Put the gun down. I think a lot of the civilians that go through the scenario tonight are going to realize just how quick these things unfold. Don Seafelt is a behavior scientist with the Force Science Institute, a law enforcement training center in Mankato with a holistic approach to police work. Relying on professionals from doctors to psychologists and attorneys who focus on how the mind works in fast moving situations and making decisions under stress. It is not possible for anyone to remember anything clearly. It's not, we have human limitations, so no one's going to remember anything perfectly all of the time. We assume that we can, but that's because no one's asking us to recall information perfectly. Their research has found 81% of police officers experience some kind of perceptual alteration. Most often they forget what they hear rather than what they see. Are you sure you had a gun? Positive. What color was it? it was blue. How many rounds did you fire? Five, six. Sure. Yeah. Questions I struggle to answer. Sir, drop the gun! After running through the exercise myself. You went from stopping somebody with a stop sign violation to having to use deadly force in about six seconds. Back up, please. And you know that the courts and everybody else are going to have the next six months or a year to dissect every little piece of it, and now you have to live with that decision for the rest of your life. If you would like to see what else the Force Science Institute found when they studied, studied officers' memories, we have uh, much more concerning accuracy and speed and other things at WCCO.com slash links.